we're back with the co-author of Super Freakonomics, Stephen Dubner. Okay, Stephen, in the book you did a study with uh, monkeys and a monkey. Well, I love every. You guys, you would really love this book. Okay. Who, me or them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I like it. I like it. Well, you must be proud of it. It's such uh, a fascinating thing. Yeah. And, and, all right. Yeah. So go to the monkey story if you don't mind. Hurry up. Cut so, to the monkey all story. All right. We. <laughs> We write about a, a young economist named Keith Chen at Yale who wanted to know what would happen if he could teach a bunch of monkeys to use money. And then just sit back and watch how they spent it. Because we people have pretty weird money habits, right? Right. But it's hard to, you know, it's hard to figure out what we do when we're being observed because we change our behavior when we know we're being observed. Monkeys don't. So he taught them to use money, coins. He gave them coins. They'd sniff it and try to eat it. When they, when they saw they couldn't eat it, they'd get rid of it. So then he'd give them some food. And then they'd take the food and he'd take the coin. So after a while, they would learn that if you give a coin, you can get some food. And he gave them three kinds of food. There were grapes and um, jello cubes and slices of apple. And then he got them, then he, then he would like take their favorite food and raise the price of their favorite food just to mess with them and see what they did. Right. And interestingly, they did what we would do, which is they buy less of their favorite food and buy more of the food that's cheaper. So they responded rationally, which is just the way people do. Then he tested whether they would be irrational in this other situation, and they were. So the, the weird thing is they looked a lot like us, or in a weirder way, we looked a lot like them. And then there were all these parallels between the monkeys and us, and if he ever needed to be convinced further, one thing happened one day, just a freak accident. He came in, there's a big cage here where all the monkeys live, little <laughs> cage down here at the end. He brings in Felix, this one monkey, and he gives him this tray of coins like they do every day, 12 coins. And on this day, instead of taking all the coins and starting to buy food, Felix takes the whole tray and flings it back into the cage with all the other monkeys, then runs in after it. So it's like a, a bank heist followed by a jailbreak, <laughs> right? <laughs> And he goes in there, and it's chaos. There's seven monkeys and 12 coins, and they're going after it, which means they've really learned that money is valuable, valuable right? Yeah. And, and, and they go in to get the money back, and the monkeys won't give them the money back because they've learned that it's valuable, so they have to go and bribe the monkeys with food, which only further reinforces that they should steal money whenever they can. <laughs> and, then, and then Keith Chen sees out of the corner of his eye one monkey who still hang on to a coin and goes over to a second one and gives it to the second monkey and he's thinking wow this is so fascinating what am i seeing the repayment of a loan or monkey altruism or what is monkey that monkey mob maybe yeah. possibly but it turns out it was neither of those there were a few seconds of grooming and then it's monkey sex it's no it's the it's the first that's not the part i thought you were going to it's the first recorded instance of monkey prostitution in the histories of science <laughs> and then you, you must be very proud and then to, show, then to show how well the monkeys had learned about money after the sex was over, which is like eight seconds, they're monkeys, right? After it's over, the monkey who'd gotten the coin walks it over to Keith to buy some grapes with it. I'm sure if there'd been a cigarette machine, he would have slammed it right in. <laughs> you all right? Yes. You need a minute? <laughs> no, I'm fine. It just makes sense. It does. You asked what Freakonomics is, I just told you. I know, it's delightful. <laughs> I mean, not the monkey yeah, sex. Yeah, yeah. Is that what I'm talking If you're about? a monkey, you know. Yeah. Oh, uh, the other, oh, I gotta go already? Oh, all right. Is that it? Oh, darn it. I wanna ask you, you have to come back. I'll come because back. Because I want you to I'll tell more stories. I'll come back tomorrow. Oh, but you guys, uh, Stephen <laughs> brought a book for everybody in the audience. Thank you. My pleasure. Well, it's my pleasure.